We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Tip of the Week. Once again, we're at Cedar Rapids, Iowa. We were there. And I don't know what they're putting in the water there in Cedar Rapids, but once again, in uh, behind door number three at the airport, we find a very gifted individual aircraft builder who is going to describe their project. They have built their own moving map display system. They picked their own hardware for the screen, for the computer, selected the software they wanted, and I mean, any of us can buy a Dynon and some of us can install it, but this guy really went beyond in designing his own complete system. So let's listen and see if we can learn something from these individuals that have gone before us and have created something very nice. Hello, my name is Tom Olson. We're here in Cedar Rapids today looking at my RV6A and some of the unique features of my instrument panel. Uh, to start with, I've got, in, instead of using a tablet like most folks do, I've got a sunlight readable screen here that's a 12 inch screen bolted into the panel. That way it gets all the cooling air it needs so that it doesn't shut down when it gets hot. And instead of being a touch screen, for now at least, I've got a mouse controller here that moves the mouse right and left when you rotate this shaft and in and out for up and down and then you got left and right clicks on here. So on the left and right clicks uh, work just like a regular mouse. And then on, uh, this is just a, norm, a normal flight plan dot, flight plan go application here. It also has av air on this computer as well. So there's an av air link and it brings up an AV-Air map. Uh, this particular display currently is just working as an HDMI display with a board that runs in it. This is all bought separately, the uh, display and then a display driver for it. Initially started out with a Windows XP embedded uh, to run this thing, and then it went to an Android machine, then back to a Windows 10 machine, and now I'm back down to an Android machine again because Flight Plan Go uh, decided not to support uh, Windows 10 any longer. So when I did this, uh, I, I made my own computer box. It uses a board very similar to a... Uh, it runs a board very similar to the Raspberry Pi. The difference that I've got here is I've got a large fan in here and the, the chip has got a big heat sink on it. So typically when this thing runs, you don't really feel any raise in temperature of the case. I think the Android machine that I had died because of that, the original one. And then I went to the Windows 10 machine, which had a little fan in it. It was a Windows 10 mini PC. That was working OK until uh, Flight Plan Go decided not to support that. So now I'm back to the, this Android built up device here. And it's got a GPS receiver of its own and uses a software package to bring that into Android. And so this has got. Uh, everything that you want in terms of maps and, and uh, sectional charts, uh, VFR, uh, well, sectional charts, IFR charts. It also has all the flight uh, terminal charts, like so that. you can see when you're flying instruments and pull up the terminal chart on here. Now, you've had this plane for a number of years, so that panel uh, didn't come that way the first time you built it, no doubt. <laughs> no, yeah, this, this, this panel was uh, originally quite simple with just the... Uh, the Garmin 250XL and then mechanical instruments. And then later I upgraded it uh, a couple of times for IFR with the, uh, the GNS 480, which I really like. Uh, and then I also had it at that time an autopilot in it. But when I put in the G3X, I upgraded to the G3X autopilot, which is a very nice autopilot. Flies this thing IFR very nicely. And uh, I just don't know what more you could want. I really like the Flight Plan Go because, number one, it's, uh, all the charts and everything are free. Uh -huh. It's also very convenient to download them. When I, when I got the G3X, uh, when I loaded in the uh, terminal charts, it took probably 45 minutes to load them into the device. 
and you kind of have to bring a card out here and do that. Whereas this, I just pull out my little computer board, take it home, plug it in to a monitor, and use my Wi-Fi to download all the information I want. So it's very quick and easy. Okay, gotcha. And tell me a little bit about the plane. What is under the hood? So this is a standard uh, 0360 with the uh, Sentinence fixed pitch prop for the 0360. It's, uh, it works out perfect for the weight and balance. I would like to go to a constant speed someday perhaps, but, but this I can fly in heavy rain, no problems. Uh, the weight and balance works out perfectly. Two 200 pound pilots and 50 pounds of luggage can go in here and be just under my gross weight. How, fa how fast do you go? Well, the cruise on this uh, absolute max speed all out is about 200 miles an hour. And when I'm cruising, it's generally about 177, 180 miles an hour up at eight, 9,000 feet. Gotcha. And have you been all over the country with it? Yes, I've been uh, to both coasts. I've been several places in Texas, San Diego, uh, several times out to the San Jose area, up to Glacier Park, and then once to the New York City area. Gotcha. And uh, you built this plane? Yes. Yes. Okay. And that, you say like 20 years ago? or is it was, it? Uh, I completed it in 1998. Uh, gotcha. Wow. So it's been 22 years now I've been flying. Gotcha. Just a little over, actually. Like that. Uh, uh, it's got about 1,900 hours on it. you got 1,900 hours. You fly a lot. That's good. Well, it started out at 150 hours a year, and now I'm down to about 60. That's all right. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's more than some people, yep. Yeah. But it's been a great plane. My wife loves to, uh, to go places with me. She never flies for fun like I do, but she, uh, she loves to go out to California. We can... We can always get back in a day on the way out because of the turbulence in the mountains and, uh, and a late start here, typically at leaving about 9 o'clock. We have to stop a little afternoon just because the turbulence is so bad and then get up the next morning before the turbulence comes up and, and make it the rest of the way. Gotcha. Well, that is wonderful. Well, thank you uh, very much, and we're going to just take a quick tour of looking around your plane here. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. And there you have it from door number three at the Cedar Rapids, Iowa airport. So I guess that's it. Well, we'll have to see before they completely throw us out if there's any more, maybe next week. We'll see you then and back to building in the meantime.